Hello, hello, you guys. Welcome to another episode of Dear Cheekies. As you guys know, and if you don't know, this is where you guys ask me questions and I answer with all of my heart. So it's like me giving you, you know, advice as a big sister. So our first question comes from Kiara. Hi, Cheekies. I just wanted to say that I love you and I'll make this as short as I can. I'm in a relationship with someone. I've been in a relationship with someone for two and a half years. Previous to me, they were in a financially abusive relationship. And unfortunately, they are in a lot of debt because of that. And they are in the process of still getting a divorce just because this other person is not agreeable and it's just a whole mess um but i've been in a relationship with this person so legally he's still married but he hasn't been with this person for four years um and it's been a long mess since covid and everything happened unfortunately um but my question is this person talks about the future and having a house and having everything together um but i feel like with his background and the history and everything about like not being financially smart and everything it kind of scares me just because I've been on my own since I was 18 years old and I've taken care of like my college loans and paying rent and doing everything and he makes a significant amount of money more than I do a week in a month and he still struggles financially even though he still lives with his parents and his parents only make him pay $500 a month in rent when on the other side I'm paying like a full rent and all of that i don't know it just it something just makes me feel uneasy about it and it makes me feel like a horrible person because i bring these up but he's like i'm trying to get better but i don't see any improvement and i don't know what to do Ooh, kiara this is this is a tough one it sounds like your man needs a financial advisor i feel like he's not managing his money correctly um he's probably spending on things that he's not supposed to be spending on and not having his priorities straight. Mind you, I know divorces can be very difficult. So I don't want to say too much about that. I mean, hopefully he's doing what he needs to do to get out of that situation. Um, I just hope that he's not looking for someone to get him or save him in a way to get him out of his debt. You're probably a, a very, seems to be like a, ver- a very mature woman that has her ducks in a row. So I I don't know. I I feel that there are a few red flags there and don't ignore them. I don't know if he's a good guy. I mean, apparently, I mean, it seems like he is. I mean, you've been with him for, you sound like a smart girl, but I'm a smart girl. I consider myself a smart girl, but I ignored red flags. So you got to have to balance things out. I think it's asking yourself, do I really see myself with this person? You have to weigh out the pros and the cons, right? out literally on a piece of paper the good things about him and the not so good things about him and you have to weigh that out because you're young and he does come with some baggage and that's not to say again that he's not a good guy that he doesn't love you but sometimes and this is what my therapist told me um love isn't enough and that sounds crazy to me because we're out searching for love and it's like okay as long as they love me and they don't hit me and they're faithful but finances are a huge thing in a relationship and they will cause a divorce so It's nice to hear that he's talking about future plans with you, but is this something that you're going to carry? Is it going to be more of a heavy burden? So I don't know. I, I just want you to think about everything that I just said and advise him to get a financial advisor, someone that's going to help him manage his money because he lives with his parents and still they're no le rinde el dinero. O sea, that's, that's, I don't know. There's something there, girl. So listen to that intuition. If you are asking me this question, it's because you're feeling something. You're feeling uneasy. And if you don't have peace with a decision, then that's an indication that maybe you're not in the right situation. I think. I don't know. I'm wishing you the best. And thank you so much for your question. I'm wishing you all the best, honestly. Our next question comes from Steph. Hi, Mama. I hope you are doing good. I just want to start off by saying that I love you so, so, so much. And that I think you're so beautiful. Literally, so freaking beautiful, dude. Every time, like, I go on Insta and I see that you post something new, I'm like, holy shit. Like, this girl just keeps getting prettier and prettier. Aww. Like, what the hell, girl? ¿Qué haces? ¿Qué haces pa...? Okay, I'm going so off track on your beauty. Anyways, um, I wanted <laughs> so to cute. ask, so how do you deal with um, friendships, quote unquote, um, that you feel that they're like those hater friends? Like, 
that you feel something you're like there's something off about this girl mm-hmm. but like like in my situation like we're a group of five and one of my friends uh brought in a girl about like last year um to our group but i just feel like there's something off of her and like i just don't like her vibe but like i don't want to be like that weird friend to be like if she's around i'm not gonna be there because that's so not like me so i just don't know how to deal with that maybe you can give me some advice but anyways i love you so 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 much and you and amelia are so freaking cute i can't wait to see you guys you know and your journey and like getting married and stuff i think you guys are gonna i think he's the one for sure for sure okay sis i love you (laughs) bye Oh, Steph, you are so cute. Thank you so much. Me chiviaste. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you're so sweet. Okay. Uh, well, girl, like at our age, I don't know how old you are, but I just feel like at this age that I'm at, like I have no time, no energy at all, no mental space to deal with like hating ass people, especially friends, people that you are going to like let into your inner circle if your intuition is telling you this girl, I don't vibe with this girl, my energy just completely blocks her in some way, then you need to just tell your friends, look, I want to be cool with you guys. I just would rather us do things with her outside of it. (laughs) If she can stand outside the circle while I'm around, that would be great uh, because your intuition is telling you that for a reason. So you ask me how to deal with it, girl, you don't have to deal with it. You don't have to deal with that energy. If you're, I mean, she's probably not a bad girl, but it's just, there's something there. Obviously, she's probably made comments. I don't know. There's something that's telling you this and to feel this way. So definitely listen to that because that is discernment. So the Lord is telling you, uh, you know, and there's nothing wrong with it. So tell your friends, because if you guys were fine and everything was good, the energy was nice and peaceful before she came around, then talk to your friends and tell them that, you know what, still want to be cool with you guys, but let's do things just us without her. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. And um, thank you about Emilio. He's a sweet guy. Thanks. Okay, so our next question comes from Tatiana. Hi, Cheekies. First of all, I want to say that I love you so much. And I thank you so much for creating this platform and allowing us to be able to send you messages. It's like the beautifulest way to connect with you. You know, getting advice from your big sis and stuff. So shout out to you, girl, for doing this for us really really means a lot so my question i hope i am not asking anything i'm not supposed to ask but i just really am curious because i'm such a fan from like i love jenny days you know Uh, whatever happened with gerald um how is he doing nowadays um yeah i just kind of wanted an update on on gerald and how he is and stuff because we haven't heard from him in a long time and I just remembered your guys' friendship. It was so funny, and I loved watching you two and your shenanigans back in the day. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I hope I'm not stepping on any toes asking this. I mean, if it's something that you can't answer, I totally understand. But I was just curious. All right, Mama, I love you so much. Oh, I love you too, Tatiana. Thank you so much for saying that because Dear Cheekies is something that – brings my heart so much joy. So I'm so happy to be able to have this connection with you guys. And thank you for your question. You were very respectful about it. So thank you. So people have asked me about Gerald quite a few times. For those of you that don't know who Gerald is, Gerald was my best friend and he was a part of my reality shows, um, uh, Cheekies and Roxy. And then I love Jenny and he helped me out with my siblings. He lived with me for a little while. And then a lot of stuff happened. Um, A lot of things that I'm still not sure about like clear about completely I know that I made a comment to him jokingly um and it just upset him which was weird to me because I was like wait we always joke around like that it was like just a joke and he didn't like it I did apologize about it but I think he has some other stuff um that he's upset with me about and there are times when I think about him I wish him well I I see that he's doing comedy right now as well so you guys I think you guys can find him on Gerald Gamble if you guys want to see his comedy is very funny so I actually want to go see they've been telling me that he does like stand up and stuff like that so um on Facebook he puts it and he you know posts all that stuff but anyways um that's what happened I I don't really know I've heard a few things here and there but I'd rather not say because I haven't talked to him personally but um there are times that I, I I miss him because I had a lot of fun with him he was very funny and uh, he helped me a lot. So I'm very grateful with him about a few things. And I don't know, maybe I'll invite him to the podcast one day to Chiggies and Chill and see if he wants to talk about it, you know, because I'm at a point in my life that I am OK with 
apologizing about being transparent. I know that maybe there are things that I did that hurt his feelings or maybe there's a miscommunication. So I'm ready. So if he sees this podcast, Gerald, I'm down if you're down. So yeah, thank you, Tatiana, so much for, for, your, uh, for your question. Te mando un besito, amor mío. Okay, so our last question comes from Angela. Hola, chiquis. Y saludos desde H-Town. First of all, I gotta say, I'm a huge fan of you and your mama. And second of all, I am so proud of you and your siblings. Y'all have been major inspirations to me. And y'all are in my prayers. I recently got out of a very abusive relationship and I started going to therapy. In the midst of going to therapy, I realized I wasn't a great friend to these three individuals. I say individuals because I feel like I lost the the privilege of calling them friends. I would ghost them. In particular this one this one individual. I reached out to this individual and I, you know, asked asked them for forgiveness and they said they forgave me, but I didn't go into much detail. And we had a short conversation. The second time I reached out to this individual, I could sense some resentment. And the conversation was a little bit rocky. The third time, it was it went really smooth actually, you know. It was all spaced out because I didn't want to I didn't want to overwhelm them. So my question is, how do I approach this individual and to asking them if they could potentially meet up with me so I can apologize to them in person? And answer any questions that, that they may have. I understand that they, you know, may or may not want to meet up with me. So how do I potentially deal or prepare myself for rejection? I love you so much and have an amazing day. Oh, Angela, this is so um, awesome that you asked this because I feel like while answering your question, I'm going to be giving myself advice uh, because I was thinking about Gerald, you know, and I'm like, should I reach out to him? Like, what should I do? I have heard that he does not want to talk to me. I think he's really upset with me. Um, I just, I don't know. I'm more of like, you know, anyways, and it's not about me. It's about you, girl. So remember, rejection is God's protection. Always remember that. If they do, re I know I understand because I also don't like rejection. Who likes rejection, right? But um, what has helped me is that statement is rejection is God's protection. So if they do reject you, if they don't respond, if they are mean, then that's your indication that, you know what, I tried and they don't want to. And you have to respect people like you have to respect his decision or her decision. Um, so I would just go for it. I mean, in order to live your best life and know what you are meant to do in this world is take you have to take risks. You have to just take a leap of faith and send a message and to say, I would love to speak to you in person. I have a few things to say. And I, you know, would you do you take my offer? And maybe they'll respond. Maybe they'll say, heck no. Maybe they'll say, F you. Maybe, I don't know. We don't know. But at least you'll know I did my best. I did my part. And you can be the bigger, the bigger person. I always tell people, be the bigger and better person. So just reach out and hopefully they're willing to sit down and talk to you. You can apologize, become friends again, rekindle that relationship or not. You know, you'll just have closure and you'll feel good. So that's my advice. That's my advice to you and to me, girl. So with that being said, um, I hope everything works out. Let us know. Keep us updated, you guys. I love when you guys keep us updated on Dear Cheekies when I give you guys advice and then you come back and you let me know if it worked or not. Hopefully it did. I want to say thank you to Kiara, Steph, Tatiana, and Angela. Thank you guys so much for your questions. And for you guys out there that want me to answer any questions that you may have in regards to love, finances, just maybe you want to ask a question about my personal life. It could be about anything. You can leave your question at speakpipe.com slash cheekies and chill podcast. Okay, you guys, los quiero mucho. And I will see you guys on the next episode of Dear Cheekies. Besitos a todos. This is a production of iHeartRadio and My Cultura Podcast Network. Follow us on Instagram at My Cultura Podcasts and follow me, Chiquis, that's C-H-I-Q-U-I-S. For more podcasts from iHeart, visit the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your favorite shows.